homeostasis is defined as maintenance of constancy of internal environment of our body in the 19th century claude bernard a french physiologist was first to introduce the concept of milieu interior which means the internal environment of the body homeostatic mechanisms homeostasis is the stability of the internal environment of the body it is not only the equilibrium of the internal environment but also the balance of composition and components of the environment and the physiological variables that influence environment abnormal deviation from these homeostatic processes leads to bodily dysfunctions feedback systems of the homeostatic regulations homeostatic regulation is mainly achieved through the feedback mechanisms that operate to state guard a set of point already uh, to safeguard a set point already set for the physiological variable there are two types of uh, feedback regulations negative feedback and positive feedback so these are the some of the uh, major uh, electrolytes and body parameters uh, which shows the normal range they have to be uh, maintained in a narrow range for example for sodium potassium calcium magnesium phosphate chloride and bicarbonates and also these are the some of the parameters which has to be maintained in a normal range uh, by our uh, the internal environment so those are plasma ph uh, body temperature carbon dioxide levels of the venous blood and uh, the blood glucose these are the some of the examples negative feedback mechanism the negative feedback mechanism is a usual mechanism of homeostatic regulation when the variable is raised above the set point the negative feedback mechanism triggers processes that inhibit the formation of the variable when the variable is lowered below the set point the negative feedback system withdraws the inhibition to allow the production of the variable so this is a uh, feedback mechanism of homeostatic regulation uh, the stu any stimuli or stress when I mean, it leads to disturbance uh, in the body environment so there will be change in some of the variables so that activates the feedback mechanism okay and by effect or response so there can be inhibition or stimulation of the variable so that helps in the return to uh, the norm homeostasis or failure of this can lead to dysfunction of the organ or the body components of negative feedback mechanism negative feedback control requires sensor that detects a change in the variable a control center that receives input from the sensor and initiates command signal and the effector that brings the responses according to the command signal directed from the control center positive feedback mechanism in a positive feedback system increase in a variable triggers process that further increase the variable so this set of vicious cycle of activation of the process this this sets the vicious cycle of activation of the process therefore this control mechanism does not operate to provide homeostasis the positive feedback system known as a vicious cycle system that terminates only when stimulus applied to trigger is withdrawn or the process itself uh, is self terminated the examples of positive feedback regulation are Uh, parturition reflex initiated by oxytocin when head of the matured fetus presses on the uterine cervix the cervical distension sends signals to release oxytocin which increases the excitability of the myometrium and causes uterine contraction so this wish and uh, this vicious cycle continues till the baby is delivered another example is lh surge so this is increased luteinizing secretion that leads to ovulation normally estrogen inhibits lh secretion but before ovulation estrogen provides positive feedback to lh secretion which results in lh surge and this is responsible for ovulation another example is hodgkin cycle the sodium influx that causes upstroke that is depolarization of nerve or muscle uh, action potential opening of few sets of sodium channel provides positive feedback for the opening of other sodium channels that is voltage gated sodium channels results in massive sodium influx causing depolarization it's important the important examples of homeostatic regulation are control of ph 
osmolality, water and electrolyte composition of body fluids, regulation of solids in the uh, blood like blood sugar balance and body weight etc. Uh, another example is body temperature regulation. The temperature of the body is maintained within a narrow range of 96 degree Fahrenheit to 98.4 degree Fahrenheit. When temperature is above normal, the body activates controlling mechanism to increase heat loss through cutaneous vasodilatation and sweating. When hyperthermia develops, the body responds to decreasing heat loss through vasoconstriction and by increasing heat production through shivering. Another example is blood pressure regulation. When a normal systolic blood pressure uh, in adult kept constant between 100 mmHg of Hg to 120 mm of Hg and the diastolic pressure between 60 to 80 mm of Hg. So kidney plays an important role uh, in the homeostasis of many physiological variab variables such as regulation of the blood volume, blood pressure, the pH balance, electrolyte composition of the body fluid, osmolality of the body fluid compartments.